Greetings, my YouTube and Facebook friends. Um, just came across a very interesting article. Uh, Islam predicts that Jesus will defeat ISIS in 2015. Now, understand, I've already showed you that uh, ISIS was created, armed, and is actually formed by Barack Hussein Obama, who is the de facto leader of the world of Islam, whether people believe it or not, he is. And he's going to be the one to take him down. He's the one who is uh, working at ISIS, and he's got to deal with them, I guarantee you, where it's going to appear. He totally destroys them, but I believe he will keep some of them to be his beheaders during the tribulation that cuts the heads off of those who refuse the mark of the beast. But uh, the whole world loathes ISIS. They cringe at them. They, they see all the videos of people burning in cages and Christians being beheaded on the beach and people having their heads chopped off with hunting knives. And they hate ISIS. And the man who can stop ISIS will be worshipped globally. Now, I also did a video yesterday or, or a couple days ago where I showed you how Islam teaches that their Mahdi, which is the Antichrist, will rise from the West. Obama is the leader of the West. He's rising. He's going to be <laughs> their Mahdi. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, all the signs are pointing to the last of the last days. And I would never set any dates, but the fact that Islam is saying 2015, that's just another piece to the huge puzzle where all the biblical things that have been proven, how close we are to the rapture, this shows me that even man, sadly Christians can't see, but even heathen of like the the of Islam can see how close we are to the rapture. So we need to wake up and understand what's going on and see what's happening. And you know, of uh, course, no, no coincidence of Jesus. They will work, the world will worship the Antichrist as Jesus, and uh, that's what this article says. They predict Jesus will defeat ISIS and. Of course, Islam's expecting Muhammad to come back, but the Antichrist will be the god to all different religions. Whoever their god is, he will appear to be that god to them. So, you need to wake up if you've never been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood. I've got a prayer and six final next steps at the bottom of the video in the box below it. Pray that prayer and do those steps as soon as you can because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. And I'm also putting my Tribulation Survival Guide video in that box. It tells you how to get saved during the Tribulation what to expect A to Z, because sadly most of the world is going to be here, including most Christians, because they won't repent of their sins after they're saved. I've got all the proof you have to repent. Message me. I have all the proof through rapture's pre-tribulation. Message me. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me, and I'll pray for you every day. And if God answers that prayer, it's all because of Him. Nothing to do with me, my friends. You need to wake up and understand, because soon most will be left behind, and God said that your hearts will fail you due to fear, and if He didn't intervene, there'd be no flesh left alive. It's going to be hell on earth like no one could possibly imagine. The signs are everywhere. Open your eyes and look. It's like we're going to walk through the Bible. The actual Bible walking through it right now. It's so close and all the signs are so obvious. Just wake up before your time runs out. Christians keep witnessing and praying. If they won't listen to us, including the backsliding Christians, that's between them and God. But look up, my friends. Keep ready at all times. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.